Raw is live tonight, and our general manager has put together one heck of a card for this show. Hey, everybody, Michael Cole, Corey Graves, and... And me, Byron Saxon, are here tonight live. What happened? We couldn't get Booker tonight. We couldn't get Otunga. We couldn't get Coach. Uh, I, I get it, guys. I get it. We love you, Byron. I look at this card and my mouth starts to water. Singles match coming up next. Coming up is a battle that can end up anywhere. We have a real fan favorite versus a formidable opponent. Time for things to get extreme. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Iceland, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Samoan Get ready, guys. Big-time singles matches coming up here. And I can assure you these two superstars have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. From Amarillo, Texas, weighing in at 246 pounds, Terry Funky. What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. Definitely an electric feeling to this venue tonight. Double axe handle smash. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him. You've got to believe this one's over. He's got him here. He's got incredible impact.
bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. finds the mark. Going to be tough to bounce back from that one. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. the reversal. Avoids trouble there. And Byron, this takes a ton of strength to pull off, am I right? Oh, you are definitely right, Michael. But you also have to remember how much energy it drains to pull off. He wants no part of the outside. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. From behind. Ooh! Shoulders are down! For a kick out. It's way too early. Scoop slam. This can go a variety of different ways, Corey. And almost none of them are good. Corey, tell me, just how much strength is carrying your opponent around like this take? Let's put it this way, Cole. Saxton would never be able to do it. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Look at this. What height. Talk about having the living hell beat out of you. Tonight may not be his night, guys. He has got to do something quick. I can't really tell what his game plan was heading into this match, but whatever it was, it definitely hasn't been working. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Big move coming. Way <laughs> wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Jeez, that's gonna hurt. He wants to do this in the ring. He's in an awful state right now, guys. And this is where things can easily get out of hand for him. Man, what a slam. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. And he's heading back in. Come on, what a cheater. Hey, it's only cheating if you get caught. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, my goodness. This superstar just... I like the combination punch. Now it's time to capitalize. Going to the cover. One, two, three. Yes! Unreal performance. Well, they don't call it Extreme Rules for nothing, guys. Let's take another look. Still can't believe I get paid to watch this amazing action. Here is your winner, Terry Funky. Big win here to start the show. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started.
We have a great match coming up next. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date against an imposing adversary. Oh, we are going anywhere. Making his way to the ring from Venice Beach, California, weighing in at 184 pounds, Ryan. Sounds to me, Pendrick. guys, like this crowd is ready to get this night started. They're not the only ones, Cole. It seems to me that these superstars want nothing more than to get their hands on one another. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action. And Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match. No more talking behind each other's backs. Now they are face to face. And pretty soon, fist to fist. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Here it comes. He's got him. He'd be smart to stay put there. Harsh impact. Beautiful technique. Boom, what impact. Ooh, what impact. starting to stagger a bit. At this point, it's all about how he responds and potentially Jeez. rebounds. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. Oh, oh what a DDT! Wow! Going for broke! Is he done? 
He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. Oh, nasty impact. He goes down hard. We've got a cover. And only a one count. How in the world? He's not looking like himself here. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. Drop kick! Takes him down in a major way, too. Oh boy, he is rolling. There's one. He does. This, the tripleta. Good night. What's he gonna do now? Float over. Oh. And that'll hurt. DDT. Caught. Oh, he's such a tough target. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Not yet. When this guy's on, look out. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. athleticism on the Hurricanrana. He's in a little bit of trouble now. He doesn't want to let this match get out of control, guys. If he wants to win this thing, he's going to need to make some changes here. The backbreaker flawlessly executed. Game, set, match. This one is over. This could do it. Oh, how resilient was that? Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Trap the arm. Neckbreaker. Ouch. He goes for the cover. And he doesn't stay down for long. Not yet. He's making a statement here with this attack. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Reverses that one. Drops from above. Just when you thought he had nothing left. This may very well be it. What a way to win a singles match. That was an awesome win for this young man. One of the biggest of his career by far. What a battle. Respect to both competitors. And this I love. This I absolutely love. Maybe you should have taken a page out of that kid's book in your career, Corey. Great sportsmanship. I would have hit him in the mouth. The wait is over. This one's for all the marbles, and it's coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. Corey, I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxton would have got lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck. This is awesome. Chris Stratus, the first woman to main event a Monday Night Raw. Plain and simple, she may be the single greatest female superstar to ever step foot in a WWE ring. Yeah, a true trailblazer in the women's division. What a treat to see Trish Stratus in action here. Introducing the challenger from Los Angeles, California, Neil. Introducing the champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. She is the WWE Women's Champion, Trish Stratus. Plant your butts in those seats and get ready. Well, and here we go. Oh, this is the type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE's all about. I don't know who's looking more forward to this, the women in the ring or me. Oh, flying forearm. That'll turn your lights out. kick out. It's going to take more than that to keep her down. Obviously a great... She counters before it's too late. Oh, check that. A horse-drew neck breaker. So good. That could be a game changer. 
She reverses out of it. And not a second too soon. Close call there. Oh, man, she's rolling now. And look at the quickness by Trish Stratus. To follow up Byron's earlier point... That Challenger has to remember just how rare championship opportunities truly are here in WWE. A loss here could result in a trip to the back of the line. Don't worry, Cole. This isn't the Challenger's first rodeo. Everybody knows exactly what's at stake here. Now back to the ring. Oh, my God! Crushing the knee here! Tying up the legs now. Oh, looking for the surfboard. Oh, oh face first. Good night. She goes for the quick pin. And the champ kicks out. Nah, no, not yet. Too early. Uh-oh. Cole, I think I know what's coming next. Black Mass! She goes for the cover. And the champ kicks out. Not yet. Submission time. She better do something fast. Not today, guys. I can't believe she broke out of that, Michael. I can tell you guys that this arena sold out in record time, and a lot of that, this is it. The chip kick for Chris. Incredible. The champion into the cover. Look out. Like you were saying, Michael, when news broke that this title match would take place here, I had dozens of people I know in and around the area calling and texting, just hoping I could get them tickets. That's how big this match is. Isn't that cute? Your friends actually think you have enough pull around here to get them tickets. Poor people. She is on fire. A bad place to be for the challenger. The pressure of this championship match might just be too much for the challenger. A big fight feel inside this arena here tonight for this huge championship match. And so far, it's Trish Mindbuster! Oh! Wow, what a move. Gentlemen, Trish Stratus might have sewn this one up. What a stomp! Good grief! Bringing it back into the ring. Some good technique right there. Trish Strat connects with a kick kick. This is it. This is her chance. Can she end it here? Yes! Takes it! Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A-game every time, I guess. I remember this part very well. The superstars in this one got after it pretty good from the opening belt. Can't complain about the effort, technical proficiency, or result. Here is your winner, and still the WWE Women's champion Trish Stratus and the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion yeah the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday very soon be competing in the main event plenty more action still to come here tonight folks The wait is over. This one's for all the marbles, and it's coming up next.
Introducing the challenger, standing seven feet tall, weighing in at 326 pounds, Kane. Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. Guys, we're getting the night started with an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match right here. And introducing the challenger from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 215 pounds, John Morrison. level just went through the roof in this arena one half a team extreme the charismatic enigma about to grace the wwe universe with his presence and introducing the champion from cameron north carolina Weighing in at 225 pounds, he is the United States Champion, Jeff Hardy. A true daredevil in every sense of the word, Jeff Hardy is immune to fear. Synonymous with tag team title reigns, a former United States Champion, former World Heavyweight Champion. And what's amazing to think about, guys, is that the career of Jeff Hardy started at just the young age of 16. Here we go. The tables, ladders, and chairs are ready. And so are we. It's worth noting that a lot of people give ECW credit for popularizing the triple threat match back in the mid to late 1990s. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Going to be tough to bounce back from that one. Ooh, right in the back. Look out! He might be in the beginning stages of an assault! Oh, yeah! Oh, what a right! Man, that's some attitude behind it. Nailed it! Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. He's got to get himself out of it now. Well, that's one way to surprise you. Whoa, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's gonna hurt. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Gonna be tough to bounce back from that one. Wow! Oh. 
We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Here it is! Speaking of champions heading into matches a bit overconfident, one of the most glaring examples of that would have to be the Honky Talk Man's attitude heading into his Intercontinental Championship defense at SummerSlam 1988. We all know what happened to him on that night. <laughs> you are so right, Michael. That was great, of course, though. It wasn't so great for the Honky Talk Man who ended up losing his championship to the Ultimate Warrior in fewer than 30 seconds. Here we go, back inside the ring. This might be it! Oh my! The challenger's taking on some offense, but he certainly comes into this championship match with a ton of momentum. I hate to say it, but if he doesn't change his game plan soon, these two guys are going to tear him limb from limb. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Oh! Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. What a scary drop. Vicious strike. Boom, right in the button. The challenger not looking good right now. We're all going to find out what he's made up here in this triple threat match. This triple threat match really seems to be getting the best of him here, guys. I don't like his chances. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Look at this! Look at this, guys. Things are looking good now. The only thing left to do is climb the ladder and leave here the winner. Moonsault! Look at him. Your odds of winning absolutely increase when you're the only one in the ring. But just because you're so low doesn't mean you're going to win. Think about it. Climbing a ladder isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do, especially after you've been beat on since the opening bell. Opening bell or not, Saxton, you couldn't climb a step stool to change a light bulb without getting dizzy. Let's be honest here. Oh, he turns it around. Flying forearm. Here we go. Everybody's on the outside. This is the exact moment this superstar has been waiting for. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Oh, looking for the, the pump handle. Look at that power, Byron. Man, that is just careless intense. Like Corey was saying, there's no better time to climb the ladder than when you're the only one in the ring. But as we've learned, that doesn't equate to automatic victory. Especially at this point in the match, Michael. Climbing the ladder is not always the easiest thing, especially after you've had people pounding on you since the opening bell. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, flying forearm on the mark. Oh, boy, he is rolling. You've got to believe this one's over. 
Game, set, match. This one is over. When this guy's on, look out. Boom! <laughs> There he goes, crashing to the floor. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. Going to be tough to bounce back from that one. The WWE Championship is on the line. Back in the ring now. Unreal performance. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. Every single minute of this one was memorable. Here is your winner and the new United States champion, Kane. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. And you just know the rest of the card is watching in the back, wondering how in the world they're going to follow that. Believe it or not, that's just... The just wait for what's up next. There's no telling what's going to happen in a battle like this. We have one of our breakout talents. Time for things to get extreme. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 220 pounds, CM Punk. It's time for our first match of the night, guys, and it looks like we have quite the contest coming up. And good luck to those who have to follow this one. You're going to need it. Here comes the commish! Shane O'Mac! And his opponent, from New York City, weighing in at 235 pounds, Shane McMahon! I wonder whose life and career Shane's here to make miserable tonight. Oh, don't start, Corey. Commissioner Hothead is out of his mind. Completely unlikable. You know, guys, I talked to some of the members of the Mean Street Posse. They don't want anything to do... The prodigal son, Shane McMahon, steps into the ring where he will stop at nothing to win. And man, wow. I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. 
Up and slams with authority. Whack! Michael, that gives new meaning to have a seat. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. Incredible! There was a lot of force behind that one. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. I'd agree with that for sure. Absolutely nobody thought they'd see Seth Rollins on that night, especially Roman Reigns. Over the years, guys, I'd say we've come to expect Shane McMahon to do some crazy things in the ring, but I don't think anybody expected to see him leap off the top of the cell at WrestleMania 32. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Focusing more on Shane's amazing leap at WrestleMania that Michael mentioned. Remember, Shane somehow got back to his feet after ultimately missing his intended target, The Undertaker. Not only did he get to his feet, Saxton, Shane actually told The Undertaker to keep bringing it. If that's not the definition of Brazilian, I, I don't know what is. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. You talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. Up and down. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Shane McMahon going up. In this is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. Looking at it here. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Game, set, match. This one is over. He's going for the pin. And he got a near fall out of it. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. We may very well be witnessing one of the greatest episodes of Raw in recent memory. Right to the spine. A quick reversal by Shane McMahon. Flying forearm. As we've seen in the past, Extreme Rules matches create a type of hysteria that's difficult to describe, even more difficult to contain. Oh boy, he is rolling. This could end it in a hurry. Beautiful technique. Shane absorbing a lot of punishment here. I'd have to agree with what Byron's saying. When you've got action taking place all over the arena, complete with every weapon imaginable, it's not easy to keep up. Well, Trump nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. 
I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. And he's been gambling quite a bit here tonight. There's plenty of reward that goes along with being outside the ring as much as he has been, but there's a ton of potential risk. Sometimes when you're dominating your opponent as much as he's been doing in this match, you lose focus. That's likely what happened here. This one is over. Oh, he got him. Let's look at this again. He wants no part of the outside. The singles match has come to an end. Wow. Extreme Rules is not for the faint of heart, as you can see in these highlights. Some pretty good give and take in this match, as these highlights show. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here is your winner, CM Pong. And that's a win to start off the night. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. And coming up is a contest where things can get out of hand very quickly. It'll be D-Generation X. This is going to be incredible.
And guys, this place is absolutely deafening right now. What do you expect, Michael? It's Shawn Michaels. WWE's top Cena. names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. superstar who really is living his dream. Absolutely. I mean, you go back to, to Edge's childhood where he, uh, he won an essay contest to win the right to train inside the ring for the first time. And since then, of course, creating a Hall of Fame career here in WWE. The ultimate opportunist. WWE's Apex Predator. And his opponents, first, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. Randy Orton began his career by being known as the legend killer. Randy Orton is now simply a legend. And the Viper has shown no signs of slowing down. Just as dangerous now as the day he burst on the scene. Randy Orton's career wasn't built on alliances. The most important thing to Randy Orton has been winning championships. And his opponents, first, 
from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the animal, Batista! I cannot believe the WWE Universe's reaction to Batista. This guy takes time out of his busy movie star schedule to return to WWE, and they've given him nothing but disrespect. You have to respect the animal. try to do differently at this stage to remain viable. At this point, I'd say he's probably better off taking a tag to one of his partners. Man, consider me wildly unimpressed with his performance here tonight. I mean, he's just getting destroyed in there. Yeah, he's starting to look overmatched and maybe a little overwhelmed right now. On, he dodges out of the way. Unceremoniously deposited down. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are families. He stops the count. Randy better not lose focus on what matters, and that's winning this match. Yep, there's the reversal by Shawn Michaels. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Well, better not think too long, though. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups oh, that man. created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the... Oh, no. Randy Orton. Ooh, what impact. This one is over. Hopefully, Josh, the show stop. Here's the cover. Looking at it. Nailed it. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. His shoulders are down. Nobody controls the pace of a match or quite like this guy. And the DDT! Making it look easy, Corey. Yeah, but I assure you, walking around with his the impaler DDT. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. The sharpshooter cinched in. What's he going to do now? Spear! This one's over, guys. Now Edge needs to capitalize. He's looking for the win. Oh, nasty impact. And he got a near fall out of it. Definitely has his work cut out for him. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Ooh, Tommy 
what Shawn Michaels could do here to improve his chances. This very well may be too much for him to handle. I'm not at all surprised to see him struggling a bit here. After all, the other team does feature arguably three of WWE's most imposing beautiful technique. That's what he was looking for, Michael. And look at the quickness by Cena. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Big time slam. Vicious. He's making a statement. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the edge. Is he done? Boom. <laughs> Boom. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. No, he releases the hold. What in the world is he thinking? Does he not want to win? Randy Orton playing it up. But I'm not sure it's the right time or place. When this guy's on, look out. Batista turns it around. And look at the quickness by Cena. He might have it. The spine buster. It should be game over here, guys. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. We might as well be in Montreal because HBK ain't staying down. Oh, destroy your face. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. That should do it right there. Not much behind that pin attempt. Gonna take a whole lot more. Ooh, what impact. That's how you stop your opponent. Looking for something big up here. And that's exactly what we're going to get. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good, Byron. Yeah, this is how people end up getting hurt. Powerball! But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? the ring and he's able to get out amazing Shawn Michaels coming alive right here hits him with a gut wrench suplex what impact edge in quite a bind he may very well be on dream street right now guys I'm not sure he has much left will this be enough he got body on body there, but that's about it. Not yet. And there are those biting, icy eyes. The venomous look of Randy Orton. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pedigree. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Yeah. Counter here. Oh, boy. He is rolling. I can't believe what I'm seeing. The Impaler. That should do it. Quick thinking to avoid that. He's got him covered. Success. Oh, never say die attitude out of him. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Two. Three. Has been eliminated. Here comes Spear. Edge looking for the big. He thinks he has it. This might be it. Oh, my. Two. And he got a near fall out of it. Wow. That's pure power, guys. Okay. That just happened? I don't know. Looking for all the glory here. One, two, three. Has been eliminated. He wants no part of the outside. And here's Randy Orton showing why he's a master manipulator. Oh boy, he is rolling. Buster by the animal. You don't see the heartbreak kid manhandled like this very often. Your whole body hurts after a move like that. We've seen this before. Power bomb. Just when you thought he had nothing. There's the pin. One, two, three. What an amazing six-man tag match. That had to be one of the matches of the year. Let's take another look at some of the action. 
That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. They get the win, thanks in large part to Edge. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. You're going to be hard-pressed to find action like what we just saw anywhere else, but right here on Raw.